dude. Hi, right, Killer Clan, welcome to the video. And first of all, let me say Merry Christmas to everybody out there in YouTube land. This isn't a giant foods episode. I know that seems funny on a Friday, but it's kind of giant. It's kind of Christmas themed. I mean, my shirt's Christmas themed. What I have behind me is Pizza Hut's Triple Threat Festive Box. But three of them, because three. Because three looks better than two, and two looks better than one, and Let's just face it, it's 12 pounds of holiday Pizza Hut happiness. So we're gonna get into this. I got six pizzas, 15 breadsticks, and 30 cinnamon rolls. Let's eat some Pizza Hut. All right, so as I said before, I got three of the triple boxes here. So I got six pizzas, 15 breadsticks, and 30 cinnamon rolls. Cinnabon cinnamon rolls and marinara salve. It's about 12 pounds of Pizza Hut deliciousness. We're celebrating Christmas. I was kind of disappointed in our Pizza Hut because they're supposed to come like in a gift wrap package. Kind of like a promotional thing, but ours just hands you to them in boxes. It's kind of lame, but it is what it is at this point. But this is $70 worth of Pizza Hut, and I'm gonna eat it. So without further ado, the 12 pound, $70 triple threat box, Pizza Hut extravaganza Christmas special. Say that five times fast. Three, two, one. Merry Christmas. Now I got all kinds of stuff here. I'm gonna set some of this out of the way. Whoop, set some of this out of the way so it doesn't all get super cold. We're gonna start right here in front of me. I got one toppings, marinara, and meatball. And these are medium pizzas. I want the clock messing my autofocus. One of my favorite toppings on pizza is meatball. It's delicious. I already know what you're thinking a few minutes into this. Where's your Santa Claus hat? I was gonna wear it, but every Christmas special I've done, you end up taking them out because you start to sweat. I just decided not even to put it on. This was Hollywood, I could see G1 on my head. I figured these ought to be about a pound and a half a piece. Oh, it's way one. So it's only a $20 box as long as you don't change anything. One topping, no cheese. I did get cheese, so it's like 22 bucks. Got four minutes in, we got one out of the way. This one here is uh, like a white sauce with Italian sausage. I tried to give myself a good variety. That's pretty good. Hmm. 
I don't know what happened to this thing. It is like completely busted in half. <laughs> Holy smokes. I think it's rock hard. <laughs> I got two peaches with barbecue sauce on because it's delicious. But the best one obviously is right up here because it's pineapple. That's gonna trigger the people in the comment section. Andy Pool sitting back there. The only Pennsylvania sponsored Red Con athlete. <laughs> We got a free sweatshirt and he wears it to the gym all the time. I said, tell people you're sponsored. In, we're on the third pizza. It's a casual Wednesday. <laughs> Barbecue and chicken. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> casual Wednesday. Finish this pizza, then enjoy some dessert for a little bit and get back to the pizza. I actually think I probably should close these up because they're probably getting super cold. <laughs> I'll keep them a little bit warmer, I guess. We'll see what happens. Anderson's cameo. I'd help my boy out. Dude. For people to buy the stuff that some people do. Like, it's like car carbaholic right here, dude. Come on, bub. I got this little diet slice here. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened to that. Look, look at this thing. This is sort of you're trying to keep the calories down. I lose one bite. <clears throat> Tell me below what your favorite crust is. <clears throat> Like stuffed, obviously, but stuff was like two or three dollars more, and it has to be a large, which completely throws the box deal out the window. I'm 
about 15 minutes in, three pizzas down. It's like the slowest I've ever eaten pizza. Pretty well. Got some breadsticks here. A little bit of marinara salad. I have no idea what happened to these things. <clears throat> these things got wrecked. <clears throat> I can only think one way to make marinara, or I can only think one way to make Cinnabon's better than to put syrup on. Huh. Comment below if you want to see me do a Papa John's video. Got my big scepter out here. These are probably 700 in this. <coughs> yeah, I got some cinnamons here. <coughs> it's kind of hard to see. Maybe I'll have Mr. Pull zoom that in a little bit so you can see the food there. Ouch. Since I moved the pizzas back, we can zoom in a little. Yeah, keep her coming. <clears throat> People want to get in there close. Now we're talking. Look at that. It's a little dark on the bottom. We used to have a Taco Bell, KFC, and Pizza Hut all in the same building. We don't have anymore. I want to order those then. <coughs> These ones here are the uh, cheesy bread, marinara sauce. I should have raised the ice and I'll save me some calories. <clears throat> Screw that. <sighs> There's so much chili. One order of cheesy bread sticks out of the way. Back into some of these delicious Cinnabons. <clears throat> I find it weird that every fast food place, they don't even use their own like dessert. They use like Cinnabon, like Taco Bell, Pizza Hut. KFC like outsources or lava cake. Long John's orders prepackaged pies. So strange. Maybe I think it's more profitable that way. <laughs> They're not even cooked. Not 
I can tell you one thing that Mr. Poole will agree with. Don't try to eat 100 full-size Pillsbury's Grand Cinnamon Rolls. That's a horrible idea. What? There's some things I'm getting snacks. We're 26 minutes into this extravaganza. A lot, of, a lot of pizza cut. I got this right here. I got three pizzas to eat. Got some pineapple. Look at that. Maybe a reset right in here in like a minute and a half. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mmm, pineapple's worked out. It's missing the ham though. I should have two toppings this one. Some of these slices are huge. And some of them are like. That one's not very good at cutting pieces. <clears throat> no. I don't get it. You guys are stacking like crap. Guess I should start drinking more. Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna need one. Calling Mr. Pool the water boy. Sponsored by Red Con. <laughs> Mr. Pool's Christmas list this year consisted of one girl. Kind of psycho, but not crazy enough to chase him with an axe. That's the kind of girls he likes. For your information, he's been chased with an axe before. She was crazy. Interesting fact about Anderson, he has one tooth. So he pretty much swallows everything wholesale. He's had trouble with his teeth ever since he was a pup. We definitely talent for you. Too much bread. <sighs> I'm about ready to start dunking your shit. <laughs> Get the blender up, Mr. Pool. <laughs> Fastest person to eat a medium pizza from Pizza Hut in a blender. Two seconds. I have to guess world record. That sounds like a good idea. What do you guys think? Mr. Poole wants me to set up a pizza hut and see how fast I can eat a fresh hot pizza. I'm gonna let him in on the secret. The fastest I ever did it was 52 seconds. Mm -hmm. I was practicing for the Zoe's Pizza Challenge contest. I got three of them. <laughs> the 
box says no one throws a sandwich party. What about like the subway party platter? I got you on the hook now. Pizza Hut. I'm gonna send subway after you. I feel like I have to stab at their party time. No. Oh, pizza. <gasps> I love pizza too. This is ruining it. <laughs> These are awful. <clears throat> it's like the cheapest dough. Lots of the barbecue and green onion, or green pepper. Save the classic for last. Screw old pepperoni. Can't go wrong with the classic. I can tell you one thing. The peaches are marinara based. They're so much saucier. I just picked that up as if it was foil. <laughs> Five cheesy bread sticks and ten Cinnabons left. I'm gonna stretch for a second. Look like Santa. Look like Santa Claus. Yeah. 
finally down to the Cinnabon. Ugh. New Yorkin is massively cold. There's a good flavor change though. Fifty-five, forty-eight. Man, that's a lot of pizza. All right, Killer Clan. So that was the triple festive box challenge. About fifty-four minutes. That was rough. Ugh, I had to take a few minutes to compose myself. I lost so much bread. Me and Mr. Poole figured it out. Fourteen thousand calories and about fourteen pounds. Solid Pizza Hut deliciousness. But if you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't because it's free. And where else are you going to go to see crazy 14 pound Pizza Hut challenges that on Killer Kennedy's channel? So make sure you like it and subscribe. I'm watching. So Santa Claus. And with that said, Merry Christmas. And make sure you're watching out for the New Year's Resolution Challenge that me and Mr. Poole always do because I believe we're going to do version 3.0. Last year, I want to say it was 30,000 calories. We did it in less than an hour. We're going to go for maybe more this time. I don't know. We haven't really come up with a plan. The t-shirts and decals are available. Link below. Make sure you grab those. If you haven't got them as Christmas gifts so far, shame on you. Because that special someone would have loved to have a Killer Kennedy t-shirt. But until next time, eat Pizza Hut, be festive, Merry Christmas. Take it easy.